Hey there, Rosalind Bulldogs. It's Mr. Gonka, and I am super excited to be here, and I'm glad that you are here, too. Can you believe that already two and a half weeks of school has passed by? It's incredible how quick this is going. But anyway, I am here with a special treat because I am going to do a read aloud of one of my favorite books. Art and Max by David Wisner. Art and Max. Careful, Max. Hey, Art, that's great. I'm pretty sure we can tell who is who at this point in time, right? Looks like this guy is in a big old rush as Max, and over here this guy's gotta be Art. He's obviously there working on some kind of portrait of a, another lizard. The name is Arthur. I can paint too, Arthur. You, Max, don't be ridiculous. He's very serious. Oh, and I think he hurt his feelings. Oh, all right. Just don't get in the way. Oh, check that out. He has no easel, so he's propping it up against a cactus. He looks perplexed. Arthur, what should I paint? Well, you could paint me. Oh, I think he's got the wrong idea. What are you doing? I'm painting you. Ta-da! What do you think? This is preposterous. Oh, turn around. I missed a spot. Max! He is obviously very upset. Ooh, so upset that look what happened. All that paint just shattered right off of him. Wow. Oh, Max. What have you done? Oh, I think he's going to go fix the problem with a fan. <gasps> Ooh, another bad idea. Poor little lizard. <laughs> I feel strange. Have a drink of water. I'll get some more about this. Do you know how I always tell you to dry off your paintbrushes before you stick it in the paint? <gasps> oh! Yeah, I knew that color was going to run. Hold on, Art! It's Arthur. Don't go! Don't, oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh! It's going to be a big pile of scribbles in a second. Arthur? I think this is not good. Hmm. Aha! Okay, here goes. I think he's going to try and put them back together. More detail, I think. Yeah. I don't think he really looked like that. Yes, uh, pointy, pointy bits like this, and, uh, uh -huh, mm -hmm. Oh, how's that? Acceptable, I suppose. But don't forget my foot. Check it out. He's still got one cartoon foot. <laughs> Come back here. You're not finished. What is he doing now with a vacuum cleaner. Now what? Just hold still, Arthur. This guy. Oh! Fascinating. Yes, yay! Let's paint some more! All right, Max, let's, let's get started.
You know what I like best about this book is how much Art's ideas and how he behaves kind of changes, you know? He's uh, so strict in the beginning, right? And he's, he's thinking that uh, the other guy's getting a whole lot in his way, but by the end of it, they're like best buddies, and he's kind of loosened up a little bit. So another reason why I like this book so much is because there's a really interesting thing that happens here. Right about in the middle of the story, good old Arthur turns into a pile of scribbles, right? And then Max tries to put him back together. <clears throat> well, what's actually happening in the story is a type of drawing called contour drawing. And if you have me in third grade, you would know that that's about finding the outlines of shapes, right? And uh, in fourth grade, when you have me, we talk about something called continuous contour, right? Where there's one never-ending line, which is exactly what he's doing here, because he only has one line. Um, well, there happens to be a third type of contour drawing called a blind contour drawing, where you look at an object or an image and you attempt to draw it, without ever looking at your paper. Right now, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the blind contour challenge. And I am going to take the cover of Max and Art and I am going to put it way over here. <clears throat> and I'm going to take my piece of paper and I'm going to put it way over here. And without ever looking at my paper, I am going to attempt to draw Art and Max for you. All right, I am ready to draw the cover of Art and Max for you without ever looking at my paper. Now, uh, I know you can't really see my eyes and where they are, but I think once you start seeing how a blind contour works, uh, you'll believe that I'm really not looking at my paper. All right, here we go. Uh, obviously, we gotta start with this title. Uh, great big A here, right, uh, and then it goes right like this in the middle. Next comes that R, and down here like this. There's a loop around and back, and there's a hole in the middle. And then comes the letter T. That one seems like it went well. Uh, oh, and there is an and sign that's happening right about here. Uh, before we start to travel over here, <laughs> I'm not looking at the paper. Uh, and an A, and an X, okay. That looks like it should do the title, uh, but up at the top it does say the author's name, David Weisner. Okay, now on to the good stuff. Okay, so let's start with the top of, uh, Arthur's head. So uh, maybe right about here is under the R, and he has these lumpy, bumpy kinds of things going down the front of his head. And then his head kind of bent down like this, right here, like this. His mouth is open. And then he seems to have these little spikes that are coming off of him. They start to get bigger until they're very big over here. There's two of them like that. Uh, that's the top of his head, I believe. And now comes the back of him going down. Oh, there is Max's head as I start to travel down the back of his butt. Oh, okay, I fell off the paper, which is a good sign because that's actually right where about where my eyes were. Uh, okay, I am going to move over to uh, his arm. Yeah, it starts to bend like this, and then he has his hand like so, okay, down here, and it's curving in, and up and over, and then he has the spiky things that go like this, and then up to his chin. Okay, right, we'll see how well that came out. Uh, then he's holding some paintbrushes, uh-huh. Yep, looks a little bit like that, right? He's got three of them, it looks like. Okay, and you cannot forget his palette right here, 
with some splotches of paint in it and a hole for his thumb. Oh, and I think the front of his stomach. Okay, uh, now I gotta move over here and I, I gotta get good old Max, that troublemaker. Okay, so I know I drew the back of his head already. So here is his eye and his other eye. Okay, that looks all right. Um, and then the back of his head come down the back of him like that. Okay, that sounded good, actually. That looks good. Okay, uh, then we're going to draw his arm like so. And he is has three fingers back down here. And he has kind of like a wave at the bottom of his stomach. Okay, and then he is carrying a box of paint. I don't know anyone that carries boxes of paint. And the paint is spilling out right towards art. I have no idea what this is looking like. <laughs> I hope it's resembling something like Art and Max. Okay, and now I'm gonna head over here and I'm gonna draw his other hand. He has four fingers like so, and he is holding a paintbrush like this. Most important thing, his tail uh, is like looping around. Okay, so this is the edge of the paper. It loops around, it goes behind him, it crosses over here like this, and you cannot forget the, uh, where'd it go? Okay, uh, the hills that are in the background. Ta-da! And that, my friends, is how you do a blind contour drawing. All right.